they'll strike at it. You just bring it through. It's a natural instinct. Look, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, 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 man, that was on that monkey milk. We're going to have to. Wow. We had the back of the lake. This is the spot, guys, that we were catching those big 16, 15 inch crappie, okay? Uh, we call this Bass Alley. So we're back here right now. I already got the markers set up. And they're just totally different back here. So we're going to see if we can have a little bit of luck, okay? Let's, you guys go ahead and get comfortable. Relax yourself. And let's do fishing with Bert and Cam. Even though I'm whooping his butt. <laughs> they jumping, ain't they? And they may be biting bird anywhere all around in here. Okay, I, I just, you, dude, they jumping. Isn't that amazing, man? How active they are back at the back of the lake versus. I know I'm gonna make you mad. Yeah, you you can throw one up there. <laughs> I am. There's a reason why we call it Bass Alley. I've never caught anything back here. Dude, you hit that bottom right there, all the way up there where it's three feet. And you're going to be able to feel my structure, dude, they'll pick it up right off of that hard bottom. Because a lot of crawfish are in here. Uh -oh, really? Yes. Dude, we've always had an abundance of crawfish. I never knew that. That's good to know. We have a huge amount of them. And later in the segment, I'm going to show you guys what I'm using, how I'm using. I'm using that blue ice stinger shad. You can get that at Cam Crappy Hole. Just go right downstairs. I'm going to have the hyperlink, plus you guys can see it right on the bottom of the screen. Just go to camscrappyhole.com. And we got almost 800 products in there, guys. There ain't nobody that has that specialized in crappie like we do. Look at that. I missed that. There you go. Oh, come here, big boy. Come here. Right at the marker. You guys see that? Right at the marker. Right at the marker. Now remember, when you pull that fish up, remember now, you got four more poles that are in the water. That's the advantage of fishing spider rigging. Get back up, and we're going to get back on one of these markers again, okay? And again, we're tipping it with the minnow. And I think that is the... And, and, and let me say this to you guys while I got you here. I'm trying to get this minnow here, out of here. I realize that it's unorthodox. I realize that you think, okay, well, if I run a stinger shad, I should have the same luck. Or if I run just a minnow, I should have the same luck. Dude, I don't, I don't know what it is about tipping these stinger shad with these minnows. Look at that, look at that, look at my man. Look at my man, look at my man. Look at my man. Oh, wow. <laughs> Right around these markers, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right, so let me give you some of the details. Right now, we're in seven, I'm in seven feet of water, but I'm fishing at six feet, okay? And on this lake, it seems to be the magic number is six feet, like this right here. Yank! Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> look, look, look. Yank! That's why we call them yank sticks, baby. <laughs> but listen, all due fairness, my man Bert, I have to tell you guys, um, we have a whole network of guys that I fish with, Thomas, Antoine. And by the way, I got to send a special shout out to my man Janier up there in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. He's a little young blood. He got me in trouble the other night. He, he, he called me and we were talking on the phone about 1030 last night. And all of a sudden I heard a lady's voice on the phone. He got me in trouble. He just bailed out on me and put and his grandmama came and told you, boy, you're supposed to be asleep. So that got me in trouble. But we have a, guys, we have a good time whenever we come down here. And it's about sharing the spot. Whenever I find the fish, I call some of my buddies who are able to get out from around the water cooler. And we come out here and we catch fish, okay? And we stop by the store and get some hot sauce and, and fries. So I'm going to back out a little bit. Let me kind of get myself together. Let me show you guys the crappie. Okay? And remember, you have to keep an eye. On those poles, because crappy have a tendency to bite when you're not looking. Oh, come here, that big.
be quiet. Let me get the phone out of here. It's a 12. See what I'm talking about, man? How aggressive they are back here? Yeah. Now we just went about three or four hundred yards and we right back here and they are really aggressive. That's why I said, listen, we ain't gonna spend our time up there begging fish to bite. Let's get back there and let's hammer some fish. You pull up that marker, you're gonna see some of my structures. You remember the past years I've been dropping bamboo and everything back here? This is you you'll see some at that marker because I just got hung up on it. Guys, I am so excited to show you guys. And listen, don't let this intimidate you. You get this nasty bend one eighth and you need to get the one sixteenth too, okay? Let me see, let me see if I can show you guys that flake in there. And you tip it with a minnow. Okay, that flake, that blue ice allows them to see it better and also the natural movement of that minnow. They can't resist it. I'm going to show you guys my basket in a minute. And that, okay, me tipping a stinger shad, the blue ice, with a minnow. I understand that concept. That concept. How do you think that's going to work, Cam? How do you think that's going to work? Um, I totally get that because I, I was in that same boat, no pun intended. But I want you guys to get out and try it. Don't, do not be intimidated by what I'm showing you or what I'm telling you, okay? And it's very, very simple to do. And I'm, I'm using the, on some of my rods, I got the 1A, I got the number one nasty bend metal hook, and I'm running that blue ice. You guys can see that, okay? It's a stinger shad. I am no longer running the curly tail, okay? I imagine even though I could run the curly tail, but I'm running the stinger shad because of that tail okay that's what I'm, that's what I'm after okay when I'm vertical jigging so and a couple of my poles I want to show you guys this too these two colors you need to have on your boat unequivocally you have to have them okay this is that red black and chartreuse with that um, with that chartreuse tail with that glitter glitter in it okay you need to have these two let me see if I can back up a little bit because I'm right on right on those bushes but again I'm running the 1a and also I'm running the 116. Those are two hooks that you need in your tackle box. Okay, the 1 8th and the 116. If you're crappie fishing, you got to have those two. 132nd, I'm not really, you know, a lot of people use them, but I say the 116th, one, uh, the 1 8th. Okay, you got to have both of these colors. As a matter of fact, we have a Stinger Shad curly tail kit, okay, with this color in it. Okay, it's an 80 piece cur uh, Stinger Shad kit. But anyway, I'm going to show you real quick, I'm going to take you off the camera and I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like when you string this up with that, uh, with, when you tip it with that minnow. So give me a second, let me get it together and I'm going to show you, okay? With minnows. And I want to show you guys what, what, this, what that means. And don't let the terminology, um, you know, intimidate you at all, okay? And I understand that you're skeptical. I get all that, okay? It's very important for me to tell you guys that. And while I'm on that subject, I want you guys to understand something. Um, I'm just like you guys, okay? I fish the same way that you guys fish, and I do the same thing, try to increase my, my catch ratio. I'm doing the same thing. Only difference is, guys, I decide to bruise plastics, hooks, and rod and reel combos. That's the only difference, okay? And you guys talk to me via camera. All right, so listen. This is that nasty bend hook. Let me make sure I'm stopping here. Okay, so all you want to do is just run that hook right through the lips. Very, very easy, okay? You don't have to put it all the way through his head just run it right through the lips like that okay you guys see that now I'm gonna take you off the pedestal here and I'm gonna show you what it looks like when he's in the water okay I'm gonna do that right now all right so when he's in the water this is what he looks like I'm hoping you guys will be able to be able to see that that minnow pushes that jig around you see that and it looks like they're mating or something to that effect but he pushes that jig around like that okay he, that minnow pushes that jig around and I'm hoping you guys will be able to see that and it looks like they're stuck together or something but guys it produces a killer killer strike I mean a killer strike because they see that metal flake in that blue ice and they recognize that movement of that minnow okay and those two things together like that is just crazy okay video you find it informative hit that thumbs up button okay and also hit that subscribe button when you guys subscribe and you, you show love and support you go to camscrappyhole.com it shows love and support and allows me to keep producing more videos as we move forward okay that's very very important and listen 
When you're watching the video, right below that, you'll see a red button that says subscribe. Make sure that you click that subscribe button, okay? And when, when you click that subscribe button, the bell will come up. Make sure that bell is clicked, is, is, is clicked so you won't miss any of the future episodes that we got coming up, okay? So we're going to be rolling in the summer. We don't stop catching crappie, okay? Crappie bite all year long. They feed all year long. They eat all year long. And it's your boy's job, Cam, to chase them. All right, listen, let's get back to fishing. By the way, I want to say what's up to Monk's Corner up there in South Carolina, to my man, Youngblood Janeer, and his grandfather, Tony. I see you guys up there, man. I appreciate you guys, and I, I couldn't, couldn't do it without the love and support that I get from up there in South Carolina, okay? Hold tight. Let's get back to some fishing. And that's the advantage when you, when you have that blue ice and it has those large flakes in there. That's the advantage because that little twinkle from the sparkle of it will catch those crappies eyes because that's why crappies eyes are very big any little sparkle they pick up on it and that's the advantage the blue ice has tactic is all we're doing yank that's all we're doing that's all we're doing come here big boy come here that's all we're doing <laughs> That's all we're doing, guys. We just moved that jig. Look at that. That's that blue ice. I want to make sure you guys can see it. And that nasty bend hook. All we're doing is just trying a little bit something different. Okay? They may be a little bit more aggressive than what you anticipate. If the sun decides to move through, they may get a little bit more active. Your job as being a crappy fisherman is to find that out. Here we go. Yank! Look at that. Look at that. Yank! Oh, we missed that one. We missed that one. There we go. Come on in here, big boy. Look at it. Look, look. Yank! Look at that. Guys, this is a great way to end the segment. Catching crappie like this. Tipping your minnow, tipping your stinger shad with the minnow, guys, produces major crappie. Okay? And I want you guys to go out and try to do this. Okay, I understand the technical end of it, guys, but you've got to try it. They say the only thing that beats a failure is a try. Okay, let's put this one in the basket right here. And I'm going to show you this one. Guys, we have a lot of things that are going to be coming up here uh, at Cam's Crappy Hole. I want you to make sure that you stay with me because you're getting ready to see some things that only you can see here at Cam's Crappy Hole. Okay, let's put him in the basket. And, um, here we go. I want to tell you guys, thank you so much. Let's back up a little bit. Thank you so much for showing me all the love. You guys have, once, once again, I've, you've, you've heard me say this, you guys have taken me into your home and you guys have shown me a lot of love as if I was one of your family members over the last three three years. And I want to say thank you so much because of all the love and support and we try to give that love back as much as possible. We have our new plastics coming out. You guys will get a, a head start on, on the entire world getting ready to see them. You guys will be seeing them first on my Instagram and on my Facebook and also on, on my YouTube channel. So you guys will get first crack at everything. You get in the cutting edge. We got a, a whole new host of poles coming out later this year. Our nine foot yank sticks, our 10 foot yank sticks. And I want to say thank you guys so much for all the love and support. And you know me, I'm your boy Cam. This is the Crappy Hole. And until next time, keep those hooks wet, keep, those, keep that line tight, and we'll see you on the next turn.